All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is add alarms, a couple of alarms, and just talk about how briefly, how to make really, really, really simple alarms with our batching station project in Ignition Designer. So again, there's a lot of uh, conversation around, you know, making alarms, but the alarms in Ignition uh, Designer can be very diverse, right? You can do SMS, you can do email, you can do a whole lot of things, or you can just display them on the actual HMI, which is simple. I like to come in here and just display them. So what I'm going to do is come down here like I would on Factory Talk, pick this alarm status table, and I'm going to drag it over here. So what I want to do here is resize it so that it gets where it's a, a, a good size for my actual screen. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger. And obviously your screen size does matter, right? So uh, keep in mind, I'm this is basically just a, a first-hand glance, right? So you can come over here and edit this thing. Uh, you can come over here and like say sh uh, show show notes and stuff like that. Like if you wanted to show no uh, show notes, you can put it right here. Uh, and then, but see how much space that does take up. So show note size, we want to basically say like 25. And see that that gives a little area where there's a note. Um, now that that does give you the ability to show notes and let me show you like I've, I've made a tag right here but let's go ahead and make another one from the caffeine all right so the, let's just say the caffeine tank right here um, what we want to do is right click if we want to make a tag or alarm off of this tag we can come over here and go into our properties and go to alarms and then make a new alarm okay so we double click that and then you want to give the alarm a name just just like we did everything else right so this will with this will actually be the caffeine tank low level and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the same thing into my uh, my notes right here I'll put that in my notes and what I'm also going to do is give it a label too so we'll just give it a label and this is just for HMI like stuff graphical stuff so just keep that in mind and what do we want to do we want to say when do we want to have this alarm pop up when it's below 25 percent so we'll in the alarm setting mode we'll go below set point set point obviously being something you can manually put in or you can attach to a tag by simply attaching it binding it to a tag in my case i'm just going to go ahead and make a simple example of this and, and hard code this to 25 percent um with that said, we come down here and we can come down here and look at if you want phone call, what, what's the message for the phone call, right? Uh, what's the message for at, for email and then put a subject line, uh, tank level high alarm. And then you can put an SMS custom message. Uh, again, we're not showing how to do this, right? We're just coming in talking about how to do it. And then what we have is our information up here. So let's go ahead and apply this. And now we do have an alarm for our, basically our caffeine. Let's go ahead and change the caffeine uh, tank set point or the tank uh, level. We'll change it to 24. That's obviously below our target, right? So it's actually going down right now. Actually, actually it's going back up because I have the tank fill on. Uh, so let's let's change that to 24 and let's come over here and you can see we have an alarm now the notes doesn't doesn't actually show very good on the notes but we can come back over here I did have an alarm screen and on the alarm screen what I can do is show notes on this one so that it gets gives a, uh, a lot better understanding and then we can come over here and you can see the notes right there right so you can you can just click that right there and see the notes caffeine tank low level um, same thing on the batching click that right there and it gives you that information so this is a good graphical way to do things right so if you have an alarm um, obviously you you can't like really I mean come in here and acknowledge that and then an alarm go away because it's not going to go away until the obviously the problem's gone so what we want to do is come over here and give it 
the ability to have that. So I'm going to fill the tank back up. It's going to get above that and it, see it automatically disappeared because I already uh, acknowledged it. So if I hadn't acknowledged it, it would have stayed. So let me show you that for an example. Let's turn off batch fill. Let's do another one for the caffeine right here with its show notes, right? And you can see right here, it's there. Now this time, I'm not going to acknowledge first. I'm gonna come over here, fill it up, and then let it get to a point where it's at the point where it's no longer an alarm, right? So it's no longer an alarm right here. What we wanna do though, we can see, we can click this button to hit acknowledge, okay? And then that will take it away. So that's a good way to, you know, have at least a very simple alarm scheme. Um, you can have all your alarms in here. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of alarms when it comes to uh, what I do. But when it comes down to that, you can have, you can go to SQL, you can do alarm history, you can do a whole lot of stuff. This is a very simple way to do an alarm and to introduce the alarm to the actual designer platform, right? So the Ignition designer platform. Um, this is based off the tags we currently have. We are, you know, we haven't actually added a new new alarm that we already had existing in our system, right? I do have an alarm scheme right here, like general alarms. You can see that like PowerFlex um, modules, okay. Um, you can you can come over here and see all the uh, ALMDs and stuff like that I had, um, and the, the alarming logic. So. Let's see, I, I had alarms for manual right here. So this is a couple alarms that I had. And then obviously tank level. So we did not actually have that in there. All right, so we didn't do anything, but I did come over here and accidentally, so I need to take that out. Okay, so there we go. So there is a batching alarm. So if the, if the actual drive faults, we can get a drive fault and show that as well. So again, that's just merely adding a tag though, right? So adding a tag, browsing our system, come over here, we browse ignition, our, our devices, batching station, and then we do our global setting right here. So batching alarms, we want to actually get the PowerFlex 525 BFD fault is the tag we're looking for. So we're going to go to PowerFlex in our in our alphabetical order here that, that it comes in. PowerFlex VF default. Add that into our system. Yep. Yeah, add that into our system, and then let's see. Make sure we do have it. It did have it. So okay, we have that now. All right. So let's come over here to our PowerFlex fault, our PowerFlex tag fault tag. And let's come over here and add that as a, an actual alarm now. So if we come over here, we do this, we add a, a new alarm. New alarm is going to be PowerFlex 5, oh, 525 faulted. Sorry, my fingers are not working right now. So this is going to be right here a basically um, that's going to be the name. The show notes I want to put in obviously if you're if you're using notes you want to put in the show notes label. Uh, you can put in a label as well. Uh, how do you want the actual alarm to function? The alarm mode settings uh, we'll say equal to. If the alarm is equal to one, let's that's this is a good instance of the alarm being active. Like if you're using a binary, you'll say if it's equal to one, right? And in this case down here, uh, custom messages, we'll just basically put in the same thing and then we'll hit apply. We're not using the, any of the rest of it. So let's go ahead and continue. This is running right now. So let's actually make the PowerFlex fault. And I'm gonna unplug the ethernet and plug it back in. So as far as this goes, the PowerFlex is, is it says okay right the okay symbol is basically saying okay well it has a connection so as soon as it re-establishes the connection and the fault happens because it is faulted right now uh, the problem is with when you pull the ethernet cable it has no communications and then you can't you know obviously see the fault but it will come in 
as soon as it reestablishes the connection that it has. Now that is coming in, you see right there, it did fault. And we see right here, we do have the fault. And we see our show notes. So we do have that in our system. Again, so if we look at our alarm screen, we do have that as well. And we do have the show notes as well for that. So again, it does show you all this stuff. And right now we have it as a low priority. Uh, obviously that would be a high priority. All that is is merely just changing the tag. You come over here, you right click again, you go to alarms, you go right here and change your priority level. You can change this to a high and then that will come in just like that. Now, obviously with this being said, uh, we can come back into our main screen uh, which is our main screen right here and we can do fault reset actually let's let's run this and we'll do a fault reset you can see that did reset our, our actual VF default this is a real VFD connected to the system and now we have to do is hit acknowledge so that's how a or a very simple example of how to do alarming inside of ignition designer and again we're adding alarms to our bashing station that we were obviously converting from factory talk to for our factory talk se to ignition designer just for a simple example again this is a project i did years ago and i just wanted to give clarity to that as well so hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one